Thick on roof, in the ring, you can hit me with the words you fling well, how are you, first of all, sir? Congratulations on winning Return to Action last Friday at Lumpany. We were just talking about it. Not one, but two rear naked chokes in the second round, back to back. This your new yes. thing? I'm not sure. I'm just going with the flow, I guess. Going with the flow. We were saying yeah. as well, because it seems to be one of the areas of weakness in your game before you've gone on this two-fight win streak now. Would you agree with that? Would you say... You've been working on that. You've gone away um, and fixed some of the holes. Uh, yeah, I could say that. Or maybe I feel like I surrounded myself with a better team. And I'm more persistent with what I want in training. So maybe that's why I get better outcomes. Which team are you? What's going on? How have you changed things up? Um, I used to, uh, I left Monarchy, then I used to train specifically only by myself. Then now I train with a bunch of uh, guys that are part of like a small team in KL. And I also go and branch out and train in other gyms. I mean, we've seen Jihan leave Malaysia altogether. She's gone over to Fairtex, you know, I think to help out Stamp. Is that something you'd consider maybe training in Thailand? Um, yeah, something like that too. I did that for my first camp. This time around, I didn't do that because I had enough training partners in Malaysia. So if I don't have, I probably need to leave as well. Well, it's paying dividends. Two fight win streak, as I said. And you just beat a, an undefeated Dagestani guy. I think he was 6-0. and oh. You know, how, how does that make you feel, Taking handing that guy his first defeat? Uh, I'm not sure because the guy previously was undefeated too. He was seven and home, so it's about the same. <laughs> You're just. Are you, do you feel they've been handing you prospects, and they're seeing you? You become. A, they've thought you might be a gatekeeper, but you're beating all of their prospects now. Do Do you feel uh, you've reminded them? Hey, I'm. I'm not. That's not the role I want. I want to be challenging, getting into the top five of this division. Well, I definitely want to be what you just said. I want to go back to fighting for the title and fighting the top guys. Uh, but I don't know if I was the gatekeeper. If I was, well, I think I'm doing a good job beating up these guys. You are. You're, you're keeping the gate very well, <laughs> so to speak. Um, Magomed Murad Kasayev, yes, was 6-0. and oh, And uh, Ilya Stoyanov was 7-0. Oh. You've beaten them both with the rear naked choke. What did it feel like to get back to winning ways, you know, because you had that three fight losing streak. Uh, how, did you yeah. go, where did your mind go to after those defeats? What were you thinking? Um, I don't know. I, at first I couldn't believe I won my uh, fight against Ilya because it was just after three or four years of me winning my fight again. And then uh, after I beat this guy, I kind of feel more confident with what I'm doing and how, I pre how I'm preparing for my fights. But definitely the three I know, like, um, kind of like put me on a reset, you know. Uh, there were times I was thinking, it's like, oh, is, is this even what I'm supposed to be doing? Or uh, maybe it's not for a Malaysian boy like me anymore, you know, maybe I should call it quits. But no, I just turned the tables around and used to whatever I had around me and made the best out of it. Well, we're glad you stuck around, Aguilar. I remember the, your last win before that against Dante Shiro. I think I was there, yes, in, in December 2019. Mm. Uh, it is crazy yeah. to think it would be another nearly three years, yes, before you yeah. picked up a win. What do you think, though? Do you feel... Like, is Malaysia still struggling to make an impact in one championship do you feel a heavy burden you know you're still one of the the flag bearers the torch bearers whatever you want to call it ung here and have a kind of still you know holding that that burden right i don't think it's a burden right because uh at the end of the day i started competing in one at 19 years old because i wanted to follow my dream and become a world champion and that's what i'm still doing i'm still trying to become a world champion uh, but definitely the scene in Malaysia is not as helpful as it could be in all the other places around the world. Like if you look at Phuket, there's like a bunch of fighters. And then you look at like 
uh, uh, Philippines, like MMA is like much more grown compared to Malaysia. Where else in Malaysia, people who are fighting at the highest level is only me, Keanu, and Jihin. And yet we tend to do a much more better job compared to a lot of people. That's right. You know, you guys are still winning fights and but there's that there's not that next generation is there that's coming through i guess like with some of the countries you just mentioned is, is that a worry for you it's kind of a worry um it's not like there is no next generation we we do have a couple of guys that we train with who are pretty good i just don't see why there is no opportunity for them you know i don't see why they don't scout guys to fight mma but they do scout guys to fight muay thai so it, it, it's a question to be asked for the promotions you know? Yeah, do you feel they've maybe left Malaysia behind slightly or it's not in their thinking, their current plans? You know, they used to go there quite often, right? Did a lot of yeah. shows at Axiata Arena. And I mean, they did come back last October, I think it was where you competed. But yeah, for, yeah. It was, I think it was in the schedule for earlier this year as well to return to Malaysia, but it changed and it seemed yeah, like they're not, not going sure. back anytime soon, right? yeah i mean is that frustrating to you you know given your value is largely based in malaysia with one is it frustrating yet yeah, that it's perhaps not one of their key markets they're focusing on right now um well definitely it's frustrating but um at the end of the day they're running a business and we gotta understand they gotta make money too right and they gotta do what's right for them so i'm not upset with them i just do whatever is told and when the time comes we just do whatever we can all right i'm, I'm gonna in a minute just throw it over to my co-host john here uh, i just want to ask you quickly one more what uh yeah when would you like to come back and and are you hoping it's maybe going to be on a, a fight night card a prime video you've done two back-to-back -back friday fights lumpini whatever you want to call it do you think you've earned a return to the big show if you know what i mean Yes, I think I heard a return to the big show. Um, yes, I definitely want to fight again. I've been texting them nonstop since I won my fight. I texted them right away on the same night and told them like, hey, come on, give me a fight. And if I would like to fight, I would like to fight in the card with, uh, of October. You know, the one that where Fabricio Andrade is going to fight Jonathan Haggerty. I would like to be on that card against whoever they would like to put me on against. And I'm, I'm ready, actually. All right. Well, JHK, if you have anything for the alligator, please, now is the time. What did you think of uh, the Kadistam Saldic uh, fight? Oh, I think it was a good fight, right? Um, personally, I wanted Kadistam to win, and, um, and he won. So I was very happy. I also bet with a lot of people in Malaysia, and then I won as well. So I'm very happy. <laughs> happy for him. You know, uh, it was a crazy sequence, right? The the finish. Yeah. He he was like in a three fight losing streak, and then he came back, and then right now he's on a three fight winning streak, and all of them are finishes, two first round finishes and one second round finish, uh, second round or first round as well. I'm not sure. He he he's just, he's on a pretty good run. You never know. Maybe me and him could meet up again. There's a talk about some interim title going on. I need to really be fast to get my sport in. If not, <laughs> I think I might be left behind. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about an interim title? Do you think that that should happen this year? I think, I think it should happen this year or start of next year. You know, it depends on what one has it, uh, has in plans because there was not many guys fought in the main show. Uh, from the welterweight division. I think there's only Valmir and Easy fought, and then Kardastam and Soldich. And then I fought this this new guy who was 6-0. and oh. So, like, only six of us fought. I don't know if there could be any possibilities for that. In your eyes, like, what would you like? What, like what, what would I like? For the interim, interim title. Oh, myself and... Whoever there is. <laughs> who, 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 who do you prefer? I think uh, hardest time. I think me and him could run it back again. You know, the last time it was a good fight. Both of us, like, storyline. Swing for the fans. Yeah. 
So and and I think it was it, it was sell well as well, right? Because mm. it's like part two, and we we fought before, and I came close to fighting. We we were like the only two guys in the division who fought Ben Askren. Everyone else who fought Ben Askren is no more there. So like we're the main two guys from back then till now who's still in one. Yeah, that's right. That's that's a trip. Not many, <laughs> not many still standing. From those days, yeah, those not days. many, yeah, yes, and, and we still catching up, and we still doing our job, and we still winning fights. <laughs> One of the OGs for sure, and you know, I always, I always respect the OGs, guys like you, and you know, Shannon Wurchai is still knocking around, Kadistam, I love as well. Like to to still have that longevity, Martin Nguyen is there, uh, Ongla. Uh, you know, sure. the, you guys are the the pillars upon which the company was built, I think. And even more impressive to see you reinvent yourselves and come back stronger, especially in your case. I think you are so young, like you mentioned, when you were thrown into that limelight. You know, I think you like you mentioned yes. in 1920. Do, do you feel like you're not even Aguilar Tani 2.0, like 3.0 now already? I'm not sure. I, I, I'm... I'm pretty sure I haven't gone a hundred percent yet in this career. I'm pretty sure about that because I think I haven't hit my prime yet. I think there's a lot more for me to discover and and I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen. You mentioned there to John that you would like Kadistan perhaps, but what about the guy he just beat Soldich? Yeah. You know, would was that a fight that interests you? I mean, I think Soldich should be looking for yeah. A name, you know, you, it's perfect for you. You beat him, you're right back in the mix. He beats you, he's beaten the former title challenger. And it, it, I think that's a fun fight, right? Actually, I was telling this to my wife the moment I won my fight. And I was like, I think 1FC will try to feed me to Soul yeah. Beach because if they, they want Soul Beach want to, to say definitely feed. be yeah. the main guy. But yeah, I think why not, right? Um, at this moment, I, I, I don't call the shots, you know, I'm a nobody. Um, and if Soldish wants it, he can come and get it too, you know. Right? We, I've, I've, it's not like I've never been knocked out or never been choked out. If there's something to be lost, it's on all of his side, you know. I'm just a guy from Malaysia at the end of the day. <laughs> Very modest. Yeah, I, I think that, that could be a fight. Like you said, I didn't want to say feed, the word feed, but... Do you feel, yeah, they they still would maybe see you as that kind of role or what? I mean, I, I feel like you've earned the respect again. They put you on Lumpini twice and you beat two guys. They probably wanted to push two prospects. I think it's time they take you a bit more seriously now again. I hope so. <laughs> I hope this, this could help too. But yeah, let's see. I'm just waiting for a call. Oh, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Okay, okay. Well, when do you think we might be back then at the Axiata Arena? I would love to go back. I haven't been. I hope they come back by the end of the year. I would like that. I because I missed yeah. out actually in October when you guys when you fought because I had yeah. a passport issue. I had to renew my oh, passport. Uh, oh, so no. Malaysia is actually <laughs> quite strict with um, with passport sports for british people so i i missed that one yeah i missed i missed fabricio and jo, uh, kneeing john linica so hard in the nuts that the fight was yeah hard. the cup broke <laughs> yeah well I, you were um you were after that fight right you were a post live yeah so it, it was it was not part of the card it was just for the crowd yeah so it's something like lumpini kind of thing but we just show up and we fight for the crowd and then we leave that's it so we still really haven't seen you on, you know, a main one championship broadcast since 2022 April, right? Yeah, the last one was when I fought Jin Tae Ho, and that's about it. Yeah, I think it's time we got Aggie Land back. Let's do it. Come I on. hope so. Kind of will it into existence? Let's do it. Um, Bring Aggie Land Tani back. <laughs> yeah, like I said, all the the original fans love you, so. I think it'd be nice to get you back in the mix. And you're still so young. You're still so you're improving all the time. Uh, I wanted to ask you quickly as well about what's going on with I Man. You know, I I know you spoke to my colleague uh, Tom 
you know, maybe a couple of years ago, and he said he was looking for a return, but it hasn't it hasn't materialized. I have no idea. I, I think he just thought outside of one. I think he's no longer with one. Right. Well, he's just I'm thought outside of now. one. Yeah. Mohammed Ayman, jungle one. cat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He fought. Yeah, literally last month or yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a shame. I always liked him. Yeah. He had tremendous hair, you know. Yeah, he kind of gave the Ben Anderson vibe. Yeah, he. Um, <laughs> yeah. The I think he's a part-time model as well. So. Yeah, well, he is in uh, Bali. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a shame. That's a shame. I hoped he would return to one, but fair play to him if he he wanted to go out and uh, still compete. So he won as well. He he got. Or did he? Yeah, he that? won his last fight. Yeah, yes, he won okay. his last fight. Yeah. Well, fair play. All right, Aguilan. Um, John, do you have anything else? Or I will just throw my final question to Aguilan. Final question time. Yes, I just wanted to ask. When are you coming back? Come on. <laughs> give us. <laughs> is, it, is it next month? Can you give us any inside info? Or are you going to hold out on us? I have no idea. I've been talking to them. Um, just like you guys, they keep yeah. me on the bench. You know, they don't give me an answer yet. So I got to wait and see what they they tell me. Oh, I you have no idea. Me, but yeah. I want to be back as soon as possible. Yeah, I'll text you guys for sure. You, you drop me that DM when you know. And for uh, sure. we, will, we will hype it up. All right. Thank you, Aguilar, for jumping on the show appreciate it and hopefully we do see you again very soon back inside the Oof. ring or even the cage the circle yes yeah miss that <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while all right man it's been a while thank you again thank you guys see you later thank cheers you. take care take care man Hey, what's going on, everybody? Dom Lau here from One Championship. You are tuned into the best damn martial arts news outlet anywhere in Asia. SCMP Martial Arts, baby. Give them a follow.